So today, we are going to go check out three body composition tools. We're going to be doing a tour of basically all the ones here in Austin. First, we're going to check out a home scale that tells you your body fat percentage. Then we're going to check out a DEXA scan at the University of Austin, which is the gold standard in body composition tools. After that, we're going to check out the in-body scanner at a local supplement shop. And we're going to see how these all stack up against each other, how accurate they are, and honestly, which ones make me feel better about myself. So it's going to be a busy day. Come along for the ride. Let's have some fun. First up, we're going to check out the Wee Things Smart Scale. This is a scale I think I bought for about $100. It's nothing special. I use it every day. It's at my house. It's pretty accurate about the weight. I have no idea if it's accurate on body composition or body fat percentage. And so we're gonna compare this to DEXA later. And so we're gonna find out what this says about me right now. All right, so we just got these numbers. We're gonna jot them down and then we're gonna see how these compare to the numbers we get at the DEXA scan at University of Texas in Austin. So let's get going. I don't think people realize like what, what percentages look like. Like I think it's like everybody thinks, well, yeah, I'm in like great shape. And then you get like numbers back and you're like, it's really, really hard to rationalize. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm 23%, but I'm like a lean 23. We're at UT, the University of Texas campus right now, and we're getting the DEXA scan. And Rachel here is gonna be doing all of my numbers today. Yeah, so DEXA stands for Dual Energy X-ray Absorptiometry. We'll be doing a total body analysis and a regional breakdown of his fat mass, lean mass, and his bone. This is a great way to track our changes, especially for starting something. We wanna track that fat loss, lean mass gain, and get to that healthier percent body fat. Sounds good, let's do it. All right. But pretty close to that 22. Yeah, that's actually like closer than I thought. And so then the in body is probably going to be going to give you the leanest. Okay. All right, so I'm at, I think, 23% body fat. Uh, that's higher than I thought I was going to be. So now I have to do some self reflection and really look at myself in the mirror. Um, but I'm interested to see the breakdown on like different sections. And uh, it's going to be interesting to compare this to other measurements. So this should probably be the highest body fat percentage of all the measurements, but uh, we will find out later today. And that's what we're going to do next. All right. So we just finished up at the DEXA scan at the Fit Institute, and we are going over to uh, this supplement shop that does free in-body scans. So let me go check it out right now. See how it stacks up. All right, guys. So we are here at the store. They're going to let us do the in-body scan for free, which is dope but they don't want us to come inside. So I'm gonna go inside, do the scan, bring it out, we're gonna talk about it, and uh, see how it stacks up to everything else. So I'll see you in a couple seconds. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I, uh, I like this one way more than the last one. I don't know if it's more accurate, but uh, it makes me feel better about myself. This is clocking in at 14.3% body fat. Which is 10% different, like 9% difference. Um, we can sit down and go through all the numbers specifically. Uh, this took probably 90 seconds. Like, you just stand on it, you hold the different handles, and it kind of scans you. Um, I think the other one was seven minutes. So, you know, difference on time in there. And the DEXA scan is kind of like the gold standard. So, if I was going to pick one uh, to go off from like a factual standpoint, I'd pick DEXA. If I'd pick one to uh, go off, from uh, what makes me feel good about myself standpoint. 
I would take this one because 14.3% uh, body fat makes me uh, want to go work out today. So that's the numbers. We can sit down and actually look at this, but uh, initial reaction uh, to this one, positive, although I'm not positive that it's very accurate. So we'll see. All right, so we have all of our results right in front of me. Uh, all these were done within about two hours of each other and I didn't really eat or drink in between any of these. So they all should be the same, but turns out they're not. First up, We Things has me at 205 pounds and 22.2% body fat. Going into this, I didn't know if this number is right. It felt accurate on the weight side. Uh, body fat, I had no, no clue. So 22.2% seemed high to me until I went to DEXA. <laughs> Turns out uh, DEXA has me right around the same way, uh, 204.3, and then has me at 23.1% body fat. I don't know how I feel about this. Definitely higher than I thought it was gonna be, but like they say, it's supposed to be the gold standard. So this is kind of the index that uh, we're building off of. So 23.1%, 204, can't really argue with facts, so just gotta do better. About the only thing I liked about this test was the fact they said that I have uh, bone density that is in the upper upper portion of males my age. So not trying to brag, but I've got pretty good bones. All right, finally we have InBody, which is a machine we just used at a local supplement store. Uh, weren't able to film inside the actual store, but numbers did come back at 204, so right on the money again. And these guys had me at 14.3% body fat. It's really interesting to see the disparity. I thought InBody and DEXA would be much, much closer, and I thought Wee Things would be way off. As it turns out, apparently Wee Things is much closer to DEXA than InBody is. InBody is off by nine percentage points. So it's great for my ego and internal validation. I don't know how accurate that is. It actually makes me want to go back and check it out. The nice part about DEXA, InBody, and Wee Things is they will track it over time. So next time I do this, I will have an index on DEXA, an index on InBody, and an index on Wee Things, and I can see how I'm tracking over time on each individual measurement. Like I said, the fact that InBody has me at 14.3% makes me feel much better about myself and likely to go back to these guys because they know their customer base. <laughs> but that was eye-opening. And so was the fact that I'm sitting at 23.1% body fat. So what does this mean? First of all, I'm gonna be indexing off DEXA. That is gonna be the number that I'm gonna be working off of and measuring from going forward. Second, it's good to have multiple points of calibration because just because one test says one thing, you get a lot more calibration the more data points you have. So uh, there's actually other tests we can do. We might do them in the future, but really interesting to see the disparity between the two here, or three tests, if you will. Also, 23.1% is uh, not acceptable. So uh, despite what InBody is doing as far as you know trying to help be on the ego side of things. I have uh, some things to do. So we're gonna be uh, locking up nutrition and uh, hopefully leaning out here in the next few months. So I'm gonna be doing this on a regular basis. I'd like to add uh, this type of tracking into my routine on a quarterly basis. And so hopefully next time I do this, uh, all these numbers are looking better no matter what machine I'm using. So I'll check in with you guys in about a quarter and we will see how things go. But thanks for coming along with me today. If you've ever thought about doing in-body DEXA or you know, your home scale. Hopefully this gives you an idea of exactly what to expect as far as calibrations and you should test it out and see what works for you. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you guys liked the video, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the notification bell to make sure you get every single video we drop. Um, if you guys want more information on DEXA and other scanners, I put together a list of resources and information down below in the video and you can check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.